welcome to this week's episode, the premiere episode of the Heroes of Humblewood. Before we go round and say hello to all of these wonderful feces, <laughs> my players this week are not feces. Let's just clear that up. I meant to say faces. I feel so welcome. Oh, it's a good time. <laughs> I'll do a good start. <laughs> going so well. Well, here we are. It happened. Before we go around and say, this is the beauty of live showing, right? Uh, before we go around and say hello to all of these wonderful faces around the, the, the table, uh, please look at the following announcements. First of all, check out our social links. Uh, we have Discord, Twitter, and YouTube. And I'm already aware, before you start giving me the feedback, the music's a little loud. I'm going to turn it down a little. Um... Check them all out. Discord, come and be a part of the community. Um, we will look after you. Be a part of the family. Uh, also, um, Twitter, send me a DM, and you can get in a game very much like this one. Uh, and it, it's really as simple as that. Uh, send me a DM, and I'll get you. Uh, I'll, I'll get you a game. Um, there's also new things coming in the future as well with that. So, doo -doo -doo. Uh, and YouTube, you can catch up on this and all of our other shows over there. So if you have to step away at any time, subscribe to the YouTube. This show will be on there in the next before the next show is aired, probably Saturday or Sunday, I think. Um, also, sponsors. This game is from one of our sponsors. This is Humblewood by the Deck of Many. <laughs> and we'll be playing characters and races from that game. Uh, and I'll be playing through the actual plot as well. I actually planned it, and I can fit the whole thing in 16 episodes. I'll try not to railroad too hard. Um... The deck of many. It would help if I put the command in chat as well. Had anyone else noticed that I'm a little scatterbrained today? Hey. No. Uh, who, me? Also, check it, out... It's a busy day. It's <laughs> uh, also, check out Mage Hand Press. Mage Hand Press created the Dark Matter expansion for 5e. Now available in hardback and now available in your local game store as well. If your local game store uses Diamond Comic Publishing, uh, then uh, you, they stock their book, and your book, your game store could uh, stock Dark Matter. So go and ask your local game store if they'll stock your book. Get the, get the book out there. Uh, also, check out Hero Forge. Hero Forge, you just had the wildly successful 6,000% funded Kickstarter, $3.1 million on colored minis. They look a lot like this. I've had a lot of opportunity to play with them. And... Y'all. Y'all, go and just support Hero Forge as much as you can. Um, yes, I think that's everything. Let's... Content warning! Content warning! This show has a content warning. It's a new thing this season. Check out our content warning for all of the things that you can expect to see. And if you're in chat and you see a raid, feel free to pop that content warning command for me. I will be grateful. Now let's go around and say hello to all of our wonderful players. We'll go clockwise around the screen. I say gesturing to anti-clockwise, but we will go clockwise around the screen <laughs> and start with Blind Temple. Temple, how are you doing? Oh, hi there, Scott. It's, uh, it's a good day. I'm Blind Temple. At Blind Temple on Twitter, I help with uh, blind accessibility issues. And uh, if you have a friend or family member or just somebody interested that you know that wants to uh, play D and D, or you are that yourself, contact me and I'll help you find a game and uh, have fun. Fantastic, fantastic, and I fully encourage you to do so. Um, Temple is a pillar of this community. Uh, next around the screen, we have Vert Madness. Vert, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, so Vert Madness, short for Virtual Madness on Twitter, Vert underscore Madness. Uh, I just follow a bunch of people because I've recently become obsessed with D&D. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, valid. I think we all started there. Yeah, I think if by horrible, you mean the best. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Horribly enjoying it. Yeah, it's a it's a burden, but you know you're you're sticking it out, and we appreciate you for it. Uh, <laughs> next around the screen, we have Zort One, Justin. How you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, my name is Justin Mast. You can follow me at Zort One on Twitter. Uh, I'm also involved with Impact RPG and everything they do there. So we have a, another channel there uh, that what we do. So that's me. 
fantastic. Uh, and uh, last, but most certainly not or at least uh, around the screen, Jess at go, JG. <laughs> yes, that's me. Hi, I am Jess at go <laughs> underscore JG in like all the places. Uh, and I'm very, very, very excited to finally be getting to go into the heck and Humblewood with all of y'all. <laughs> I tried to style my hair into like little bonds to be like little ears and i put on like i had like a little cat ear headband and i was like no that's clearly a cat and i'm not a cat so <laughs> hmm, shucks i'll have to work on i'll have to work on a cosplay at some point something can't what do you have hang on what are we <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> See, yeah if i was if i was playing i have a deer hat literally right here if i was playing a deer i could like rock this but i don't i'm not <laughs> I'll have to get it's a mouse all, one. It's all woodsy. It's all it all works. <laughs> I, I oh gosh, now I was about to say skin this deer alive. <laughs> Wearing it now, but no, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we are all in the small, quiet village. Of, uh, of of sleepy Meadowfen. Uh, the village lies uh, a little way from the capital, Alderheart, uh, and uh, but not so far as to be close to uh, the Scorched Grove. Um, not a lot happens here, really. You know, um, a few weeks ago, a group of uh, a band was formed to go and investigate a strange occurrence uh, in the woods. Um, an ominous plume of black smoke to the north blocked the sun just a few weeks ago. And, and this is what they went to investigate, to go and see what was going on. However, they haven't returned, and the source of the smoke remains unknown. The village is a little restless, um, nervous about what's happening and where their friends have gone. Where do we find all of you? Let's go around in the opposite order and put Jess immediately on the spot. Um, tell us about your character, what they look like, and where we might be able to find them on any given day. Sunny is... Uh, a small but mighty Jerbeen fighter. Um, they are probably hanging out in a bar looking for an excuse. Someone like, you know, hits their chair like, Hey, hey, what you, you think you what, think you're tougher than me? Huh? Like just, just uh, any excuse to get into a fight. They, they're, they're, they're not the nicest, but. You know, they they like to help when they can, but also don't 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 mention how small they are. They're very tough. Very, very tough. Uh Sunny You feel a sudden sharp pain in your ear. Ow, what? Huh? Hmm? Turning, you see two small cubs running from the establishment, giggling. You get back here! Hey! Hey! <laughs> ah, those young, young punks! <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll show you later, you hooligans! Well, that's a turn of events. Barmaid comes across refilling your drink. Uh, oh, that's that's really, really showing them, Sunny hooligans. That's that's that's. <laughs> you know, they 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 think they could mess with me just because they're cute and small. Oh like yeah. Me. And she ruffles your hair a little. Hey uh, hey hey hey. It's, it's okay. Here, have another drink. Sunny grumbles and drinks the drink. <laughs> Where might we find Squalter Crag Creek? Uh, he uh, has been 
feverishly checking books out of the library uh, because, you know, when now he's kind of alone because his his brother was one of the people that went out to investigate and now has just kind of been sitting there by himself, not really knowing what to do and getting kind of scared. Uh, he is he is a, a, a kindled Corvid, uh, you know, raven type. Uh, he would wear wizardy robes uh, as well. And uh, yeah, he just would be feverishly looking through, just reading everything that he can, uh, just as a way of distraction, but as a way as, as learning as well. Okay. Uh, so where exactly would you be undergoing this, sorry? Uh, you know, he would be either at home or he would be in, like, just in the tavern, just not looking for company. If he was at the tavern, he wouldn't be looking for company. He would just be reading, but just kind of having the atmosphere around is a little bit comforting. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so, uh, I think, uh, perhaps, uh, a kindly, uh, older, uh, Corvid is, uh, checking in on you regularly. You know, they know that maybe you know, you're trying to s research and stuff, but they suspect you may be worried about your brother. Um, and uh, they've they've been bustling around you for, for some time. He would he would take a he would take a drink and from from them if he if someone like left him one and he would drink it and but he wouldn't really acknowledge it. He would just be like Okay, thank you. And he and he and he just puts it and he puts it back down. But yeah, he just and then like looks around at everybody with kind of like a suspicious eye a little bit, and then he just goes back to reading. Uh, give me an investigation check. Gotcha. Okay, okay, on an 18. That's pretty good. Uh, your research... ...leads you thusly. Uh, you find a, uh, small, um... ...a small journal, uh, that recounts an encounter with, uh, some ember bats near the Scorched Grove. There are interesting, uh, interesting notes from this encounter that the uh, that the survivor wrote down in their journal. Um, not only do you uh, learn that ember bats, uh, small fiery uh, winged fire creatures uh, of pure flame, um, they most often are seen flying in clouds. They see using blind sight. There we go. There's an ember bat. Um, they see using blind sight, but you also, uh, a note here, someone says they have managed to avoid detection by deafening the ember bat. Ah, excellent. Oh, this is good information about the Scorched Grove. As Squalter sits studying, why don't we head around and find out where Stormheart is? Stormheart. Stormheart is a large, just over five foot, a little bit overweight owl, probably still in his uniform from since he's a town guard. Uh, what roughly what time of day are we looking at? Oh, let's say it's uh getting towards evening time. It's not quite okay. at that point where the sun makes everything golden, but right. it's gonna gotcha. be in the next hour or so. Okay, that works. Well, in that case, he's probably just getting off his shift, just kind of sprawling into the tavern. A little louder voice, just like, Barmaid, drinks as usual. And he just walks up straight up to the bar and sits on a chair, like right at the bar, as turns enter, over his hammer. As you enter the door, uh, you have to dodge aside as two small cubs go <laughs> darting out. <laughs> and uh, you hear the following outburst from one of the patrons. A... 
a small what 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 race were you again, uh, Sunny? Jerbean. A small which is like, bean. Which is like a little mouse like people. <laughs> Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> hey you hey, you hooligans! You you they they're small, they're angry, they're surrounded by many weapons. <laughs> In a... <laughs> I guess, yeah, I uh, just look over at uh, them and yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. And then I just walk straight towards the bar to get myself a drink. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, and uh, the barmaid uh, is happy to serve you. Oh, uh, would you prefer elderflower cordial, some of our rum punch ale, or maybe uh, some squeaky pig. That's a, a new one that old Blankfoot has made uh, from down the mill. Sure, I'll try something new. Wonderful. Fill he, it up. He says this one's got hoppy notes. <laughs> ah, will it get me drunk? Uh, oh, yes, yes, and uh, she's happy Good. to fill <laughs> your flagon. Uh, and he turns over his hammer because he tends to get into fights. <laughs> Sunny, how do you how do you uh, how do you feel seeing uh, seeing uh, Stormheart enter with this uh, hammer and perhaps you know? How, how do yeah, you, you said right you're now? you said you're a member of the guard. Yeah, talent guard. I'm probably moving some of my stuff over <laughs> and like making sure all my bags are like closed up so you can't see inside them <laughs> okay well as uh, as sunny hides uh, their contraband and uh, stormheart enjoys a nice mug of something new where can we find red hi i'm red I'm from, uh, I'm not from around here, you can probably tell. I'm from down south, a little village called the Sticks. Uh, I'm a smallish uh, mistral raptor. Uh, I'm out just, I'm out to help folks. That's all I'm here for. I, I, my daddy, he was famous. And I'm trying to be famous too. And, you know, it's, it's like them kids. If you want me to, I'll chase them down for you. That, that ain't right. That just ain't right. Get Willard. Willard, go, go find those kids. There's no one else there. There's no one. <laughs> and hey. uh, I'd be in the tavern looking for a cause. Okay, looking for a cause. And you too would have been witness to all of these shenanigans. Okay, um, Stormheart entering the kids. You might have seen the kids also planning their their uh mild assault let's be honest you know these damn kids assaulting young jebbins um and uh you you would have also been party to all of this promotion um as you all are getting settled in uh both in the tavern and in your home squalter you hear commotion from outside uh the sound of people gathering uh, and uh, rushed conversations. Uh, perhaps you hear a snippet of it as it passes your window, Squalter, being in a somewhat uh, quieter place of... Uh, someone's returned? Someone's returned. However, in the tavern, you all just hear commotion. Uh, what? Yeah, seeing that it's some, somebody that... Had, hearing that someone had returned, he kind of, you know, kind of whips his head around a little bit and then... You know, takes his little notes that he wrote about the ember bats and stuffs it into a pack and kind of gathers a little, cut some stuff up, and then just walk like just walks right outside to find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. And in the tavern, yeah, Sunny literally is like, "Hey, what's 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 going on?" And they they're too short to see anything from, so they would definitely have to get up. They like wrap up all their bags and things, and drag them. And go outside to to see what's happening. Yeah, Stormheart would be similar. He would like give a longing look at the flagon, and then like, and Hero is just getting settled in for a quiet night. And he just grabs his hammer and starts begrudgingly walking towards the door. Uh, Red will look at the bartenders. I smell adventure, and rushes for the door. Okay. 
as you all rush outside in the village people are gathering around one corner uh of the village square a wounded strig woman is limping towards uh towards meadowfen uh towards the meadowfen elder's home specifically uh staggering and catching herself on the side of a well she is bloodied and her tawny feathers are singed and flecked with ash and soot Uh, being part of the town guard, I'm going to go up and try and uh, keep the people away from her and uh, just tell people, it's like, somebody go grab a healer and give her some space, will you? Just kind of push the people away from her so that they're not overrunning her. She uh, turns to you, clinging to your sleeve, and says, uh, I must speak to the elder. We are all in grave, <laughs> grave danger. Uh, the grove has taken an entire town. I'll just, uh, well, why didn't you say so? And I just kind of grab her, like, under the <laughs> shoulder and just, like, pull her up uh, and just kind of, like, pull her along a little bit. Like, not going fast so that she would be dragged along, but, like, carefully walking towards that direction. You all will recognize this strig. It is uh, Kara Stormsinger. Um, uh, he's one of the villagers who left a week ago to go and investigate. Uh, and uh, as you start to support her, uh, a wizened Gallus who was sitting on her French porch uh, rises, opening the door to their abode and beckoning for you to come in uh, to provide rest. Uh, and and uh, as one of the small gerbeans that flicked Sunny's ear uh, is fetching water and offers some to her, which she drinks gladly. Um, as as a gerbean, I am very, very small. And I am, in fact, a small creature and I have the ability to like nimbly sneak under people so I'm just gonna go ahead and like do that so I can get to the front to see what is happening like at first I'm like hey hey what's what's happening what's happening and then when I can't see I'm just gonna like crawl underneath until I get to the front to see mm -hmm. and what what uh as Stormheart gets to the uh gets to this house you know it to be Ardwin's house um, uh, bringing Kara inside Sunny you can slip on in and Ardwin looks around and uh, picks out Squalter uh, and Red from the crowd and says you, you two come in we may need your well hopefully there'll be news of your brother and stranger we may need your news of the outside Okay, here. You heard the man. Let me through. Hero coming through. And I march right in there. Yes, well, out of my sure. way. <laughs> out of my way. I, he's got probably word of my brother. I need to find, figure this out. I sneak in while they're being loud. <laughs> <laughs> and I continue to help Kara inside the house. Yeah. And there is a, 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 a pallet in there. Um, looks as though it's been set up for guests, but it's awfully convenient right now to rest Kara on. Um, and uh, one of the, the Jerbeen holding her water places it down and runs off to find the healer you requested. Uh, Arduin turns to Kara and says, It's clear you've endured much, uh, my child, but we must know what happened out there takes a sip of her water. <sighs> and launches into an explanation. He explains that the fires from the Scorched Grove spread to the hillside town of Ashbarrow, Ashbarrow and completely raised it to the ground. The citizens have been fleeing their burning homes uh, and... Many bandits have taken advantage of the chaos and have been preying on the villagers and also some of the other party members. She looks to you sadly, Squalter. Did you see anyone who looked like me? My, my brother was very similar. I see the similarity. Sorry, they didn't make it. Uh, 
And he just kind of stiffens up a little bit and just... Did, did, was it the fire itself or was it anything involving the... Anything else involving the fire? Any other creatures or anything? I'm afraid it wasn't the fire. It was bandits. Preying on the innocent fleeing their homes. All my brother wanted to do was do good in this life, and look what it got him. But we will sort this out, figure this out, and we will fix this problem. Yes, the yeah, Alduin turns to you, the village elder, and uh, turns to all four of you, in fact. This is grave news indeed. Grave news. For the Scorched Barrow to spread such, there must be something going on that way. I would ask a favor of the four of you. Keep your hands busy, Squalter, and be good for the rest of you to get out there. I know, Sonny, you've been looking for an opportunity to prove yourself, and frankly, Stormheart, you're the best uh, guard we have uh, to send and make sure this miss, 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 missive gets through to Alderheart. And Red, I'd appreciate it if you came along as well. I hope you don't mind me pulling you into village affairs. Not at all. I got a bucket full of errors right here for any bandit that gets in our way. Fantastic, yes. A bucket full of arrows, yes, yes. Uh, all right. Travel to Alderheart. Speak to the Birdfolk Council and let them know of Ashbarrow's destruction and and the ensuring bandit activity on the roads near Medifun. We need protection. We need support from them now before the uh, whole village, all of Medifun, becomes endangered. You don't, you don't want us to go fight the bandits? Like, we could go, like, it, it sounds like they're up to no good. We could go punch them. Uh, the, uh, the Striggs, my child, there are hundreds of bandits. Hundreds of them operating on the roads to take them all on yourself would take months. Yeah, but it sounds like they're up to no good. I mean, I sure would come across a, par a few that you would be able to punch. You might need a ladder to do so, though. Hey, wait, was that? <laughs> don't count her nothing. out. Come on now. <laughs> Can't tell if that was an here. insult or not, but if I find out that was an insult, just Ever. you wait. Well, if you find that out, you let me know, too, because I'm a little on the short side, too. <laughs> I ain't putting up with none of that nonsense. Right. I guess we could. I guess. I guess we could all do that. I guess you're right. There could be bandits on the way, uh, and I could be there to guard all of you so that you can all send the message, protect you from the bandits on the road. Mm -hmm. Red looks at his uh, quiver full of arrows. And, well, if there's hundreds of them, I'm going to need a couple more buckets. I ain't got enough arrows here to do hundreds. You guys have arrows in this town? Like this, I pull one out and show. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, they have plenty of arrows for you. Good, good. I'll need them. If there's hundreds of them, my arm might get tired, but I'll get them all. You may wish to speak to the Fletcher, uh, Red. Uh, he makes all of our arrows for hunting, usually. What grave times that we need them for defense. Uh, but please, you must hurry. I picked the four of you out because you're the only ones able to make this journey. You know the populace of this town. They are either too young to be off their, 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 their parents' uh, skirt strings or too old to be truly adventuring in such a way. And we need more than the four of you to protect us. Let's go. I'm ready right now. I'm always ready. Going to Alterheart sounds like a pretty good adventure. Hi. 
I must get to keep what I exactly find. What happened. Find out exactly what happened to my brother. All right. We got us a group. Hi, I'm Red. And I offer my hand up. Then he runs up and like shakes your hand very quickly as another, ah. as another, <laughs> as the only other small person, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Squalter Crag Creek. I am a devourer of knowledge, so to speak. Well, I feel perfectly safe. I'm not knowledge. Not even knowledgeable. <laughs> That's right. Uh, that, well, yes. That, that is I, apparently true. <laughs> but yes, it's, it's books and knowledge that I crave, but now it's also to get those who got my brother. I'll help you. I'll help them get them no, dirt, no good dirty pole cats that done killed your brother. I'll be there for you, buddy. I appreciate that. And my shield will keep us safe. All right. And uh, outside, you can hear yet another commotion. Um, the, the you can hear people uh, appealing to uh, old Ben, uh, whom anyone who does any hunting, certainly Stormheart uh, and the locals would know, uh, is the Fletcher. Uh, and uh, you can hear words outside to the effect of, Calm down, old Ben. No, 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 you can't. No, no, stay. You're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> uh, and um, as you peer outside, if you peer outside, anyone who looks outside will see uh, that uh, old Ben is, uh, tri is standing in the square, uh, half buckling on some old adventuring gear. This stuff looks dusty, like he's pulled it out of the... Uh, pulled it out of the... Uh, uh, long-term storage um however on his back uh, there is also a large bow made of stout wood um you know that even in his old age he's the only person in the village who can draw it and he has many arrows at his side that old fool uh walk out towards him and call out to him ben what are you doing uh, ben a corvid Old Ben, old Corvid, bandits on the road. I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna show them all. And uh, he starts like uh, both fiddling with a buckle on this pauldron and drawing his bow, bow at the same time. Yeah, Ben is the right idea. This is this is what we have to do right here. This is this is the good plan. I, that's what I said, Ben. Let's go show them. We right. will, but I'm concerned for the old man. <laughs> I, I, I surely hope that he would stay here and help defend the city. Well, I'm, I'm just as capable as I was in my prime. I, 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 I mean, and uh, as he takes a, a step, you hear a loud click, and Ben goes very still. Oh, Ben. <laughs> you, you, hurt, you hurt yourself, didn't you, Ben? And uh, from uh, seemingly... Oh, that's, uh, that's the last show's content warning. I'll disable that. Um, uh, appearing as if magically, as uh, she often has a habit of doing, uh, Rosie appears. Uh, Rosie on the village council. Um, some see her as a leader amongst equals. Um also known as old Ben's wife, and uh, she immediately begins kind of chewing him over. You've done it, haven't you? You've popped your hip. I told you. I told you you shouldn't go and take all of that gear out of storage and start doing all of this sort of thing. You old fool. You're going to be stiff for weeks now. You're going to be complaining about that, and who's going to need to nurse you? Ben looks abashed for a second at this uncomfortable silence. Hmm? Me? That's who? And uh, he begins making yes, d defend the village. That seems very noble and honourable. That's 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 something that I should should mm, yes. Uh, I'll stay here and oh oh. <laughs> uh, 
However, he is bedecked with many, many arrows. Uh, uh, Grandpa, uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm Grandpa. <laughs> You're, you're, you're a true hero. You're yeah. everything I want to be. And I'm glad that you're going to stay and guard the village because, you know, frankly, the rest of us, we need a chance to make a name for ourselves too, like you have, and become, you know, great defenders of the people. The more you talk, but, the more his crest feathers outwards a little bit as his chest inflates. And and the best thing you can do is stay here and defend the village because you're experienced. You know how to do that. You know, we can go out there in the words. We got to learn how to do this in the forest ourselves. Can't have our hand held. Uh, but it would really help me, as you can see, my bucket's almost empty. If I could borrow some of your errors when I go out. No. Hmm. Let me see that bucket. I take my quiver off and hand it to him. Uh, he looks, uh, he pulls an arrow out and begins, uh, begins, uh, inspecting. <laughs> this arrow is more bowed than my spine. And he throws it aside. Uh, you, you he just turns the whole thing out. You don't want any of these. Take mine. Uh, and uh, he gives you a full quiver of arrows, which will add plus one to your damage. Oh, well, well thank oh, you, you, Grandpa. Go. That's very kind of you. Yeah, that's why you're a great hero. Generosity. Hmm. Thank you. I put it, put it on. Anytime you're nearby, stop in and I can give you more. Did you fletch that thing yourself? Years uh, of experience. That's what you get with me. Years of... I, I bought him in the last village, and it it wasn't very good. I I don't know that guy. He didn't seem right in the head, if you know what I mean. Willard, he just kept going on talking about how guy was just I don't know. He fell out of a tree, I think. He peers behind you at where you gestured to Willard. Yes. He's pretty quiet. Then he leans over to Squalter, like, Is there anyone over there? <laughs> Do you see? I, I don't believe there is. Hmm. Are they just really small? <laughs> well, uh, no. I, 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 I don't believe there's anybody there at all. Let's just go with that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Sunny thinks about this for a while. It's not is not fully guaranteed. It doesn't feel a hundred percent more <laughs> assured just because Squalter said there isn't anything there. Mm. Uh, at this point, I uh, just I, after a little bit of awkward silence, I'm just gonna go to Ben and like, oh Ben, we'll take care of this. You know me good enough. I shall take these. Others, and we shall go investigate it. Always were a good lad, Stormheart. Huh? I'll raise a village militia. There's a lot of good old men here, who, and and women, and other who who served. The last time the grove flared up. Don't you look at me like that. There was an event. There was a thing. We were good. Uh, and uh, and uh, Rosie just like comes over and puts an arm sympathetically under his elbow and starts leading him away. I was, you know. Yes, dear. He <laughs> really was really good. Uh, just not anymore. Well, you can tell. You can always tell the good. They got that look. Truly had the warrior spirit, he did. But but I wouldn't want him around right now. Well, no, he'd take all the glory for himself. How are we supposed to make a name for ourselves when we got guys like that coming around? <laughs> Tis true indeed. So, Red, you got you got some arrows. Is there anything else we need before we go to Alderheart? Where's... All I need is arrows and a target. That's all I need. Uh, uh, Sunny's gonna go over to Rosie. Um, Miss Rosie, do you have any healing? I don't think any of us do that. I look over at everyone else. Do any of you do that? Do you do like 
No? I do the, I do the opposite of that. Yeah, me too. So that's why, <laughs> Rosie. <laughs> Any uh, chance you have anything? No, so, uh, Kara was our only healer. If she's the only one who's returned, I imagine she's feeling pretty upset. Yeah, maybe she should save her heels for herself. Yeah, you're right. I won't ask her. That's fine. Uh, well, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask. So now we've asked. Anyone need anything else? <laughs> well, it seems like we'll be away for some de days. My current work has been local. Uh, I might want to grab a bedroll or two. But other than that, I think we're good to head out. I, I always got my pack ready to go. Willard, where do you leave my pack? Oh, it's over there by the uh, by the tavern. I'll go get it. <laughs> yes, uh, good old Willard. And e e Edwin, uh, he uh, he says, "There's and there's also uh, I I have uh, some packs uh, at the general store. Uh, feel free to take them. You're you're our only hope." All right. Willard, you go get my pack. I'll go get the one at the general store. And uh, this can be a, a, a dramatic way of you getting whatever equipment kit you would like. Or whatever equipment kit you took with your character creation. Gaming mm. montage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gaming montage. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grab that and I buy an extra bedroll while I'm there, there because mine doesn't include that. <laughs> yes, I would also do the same because mine also does not include such items. <laughs> okay. How well, how long does it normally take to go from uh, Meadowfen to Alderheart? Uh, it's going to take a few days. Okay. It's going to take I, a few days. A normal normal journey would take a few days. I it I don't want to say. Sunny doesn't, you know, like it when you say that they are, you know, a former bandit so much as <laughs> so much as, you know, they used to do some different type of work. Uh, anyways, the point is my background <laughs> allows me to to travel quickly, like and help my group pass. Um, as someone who has once assisted in I'm reading this from the book. Countless high rate, highway robberies, quote unquote. <laughs> like, let's not go into that. Uh, you are familiar with the roads of the wood and the escape path used by quote unquote bandits. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so when not in combat, you can lead your companions and travel quickly between locations um, as fast as. So I'm just saying, uh, Sonny, Sonny, Sonny's gonna be like, not that way. <laughs> this, that's not the good. That's not the good way. Uh huh. Red's what? A, Red's a ranger, t so I can probably help pretty good moving through the woods. Oh yeah. <laughs> All I have is my knowledge from being a cloistered scholar. I just sit <laughs> inside and read books and gather knowledge for myself about all kinds of things. But yes, uh, nature, I have some knowledge in, knowledge in nature, but not in terms of, I wouldn't feel comfortable navigating the group through the woods. So I'm glad you are all here to help assist. Well, I books are made out of trees. <laughs> <laughs> this, I never thought of that before. Oh my gosh, yeah. books are made out of trees. So yeah, you have lots of experience with trees then. If you've yeah. like handled lots of books, that's, a great point, Red. Yep, honest, it wasn't my the Willard told me. I see. He just kind of shakes his head at that, like I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you can begin your journey if you're ready to. <laughs> yes, I believe we are. Go. Nope. Uh, the roads are, you know, well tracked uh, from uh, from uh, Meadowfen to uh, to Alderheart. Uh, the uh, trail is dusty, um, but 
you know, uh, you could imagine a cart moving along this uh, trail easily. Sunny, you can confirm that this is the uh, the, the the straightest route uh, to the uh, to the uh, the capital city. Uh, you'll know you'll pass a few other places on the way. How are you feeling? Right. Red leads off. He's in a hurry. If if you say "huh," you're gonna be talking to yourself. <laughs> and he just uh he, well he squalters is, is following along he's got his nose in a book still but he's just kind of keeps an eye, like kind of keeps going like this to kind of make sure he's following you guys but at the same time you just keep reading does he like almost walk into a tree and then stop and then all, like <laughs> all the time all the time <laughs> yeah He's expecting you guys to guide his way, but he's going to uh, keep reading. People reach out and kind of nudge you was, to one side around stuff. I was going to say, the rest yeah. of the group takes turns just like making sure Squelter <laughs> yeah. doesn't walk into stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, while Stoneheart when you, when you... isn't old, he's also not young either, so he's probably hanging back too, so he'll just be like <laughs> nudging every now and then. <laughs> and, every time, and every time you do that, Squelter kind of gives you the side eye of like, why did you touch me? <laughs> yes, yeah, so just keep going through the woods. Uh, Red's keeping a good eye out around for bandits, ambushes, uh, predatory animals, anything that might be of danger. Mean trees, anything. Mm. Have you met a lot of mean trees, Red? Which Which tree is the meanest, would you say? The ones you fall out of. Oh yeah. Ask a silly you know, question. Down our down our area down there where I'm from around the sticks, they call it the tumblewood because we fall out of the trees a lot and you know it hurts. It really hurts. As that you are making <laughs> as you are making your way down this road. First of all, thank you very much everyone for the retweets. I can see we've got at least 14. I believe the 10th retweet was Gabe uh, from Gabe James Games. Um, if you're in chat, use roll. If not, we'll choose someone else shortly. Um, thank you very much. We'll be using the the uh, the D&D Wild Magic Surge table for the, uh, this. So uh, so uh, we'll, we'll let it happen to, to one of our players. Um, but as you are heading down this road, it's not long until you see some bandit activity. Activity. Three hooded figures are gesturing violently at a crumpled body on the ground, while a fourth is leaning against a nearby tree. A small handcart stacks high with bags and boxes of various sizes stands nearby, and one of the hooded figures goes to the car and unceremoniously starts sifting through the packages, leaving fallen bundles strewn on the road. Approach, the three strangers who are gesturing at the body, you can see the pointed faces of uh, of Mapak under the hoods. Two male and one female Mapak, uh, each wearing worn leather armor and a short sword on their belt. The fourth, an intimidating Vulpin female, is lightly armored and wears an ornate sword on her hip. She seems to be hanging back, letting her subordinates do all the work. You hear a whimpered help me. From the crumpled creature on the ground. But you can't make out their features. The Mapak female, still standing near the fallen body, puts her hands on her hips and addresses you all, saying, Alright, folks. Nothing to see. Move along if you know what's good for you. Nothing to see, eh? And I turn over to Sunny and be like, "Look like it's your chance already." No, oh, I, I got it. You no good, dirty. <laughs> are these bandits? They look like bandits to me, but are they bandits? They're definitely bandits. I can. Yeah, bandit. Nah, no, shoot one of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. As you all were talking, they were slowly drawing their swords. Uh, this will initiate combat. Uh, Red, we'll let you have an attack, and then we'll all roll initiative. All right. 
just I can't see the die roller for roll twenty. Is it okay if I just roll here on my desk? Absolutely. All right. Uh, Fourteen. A fourteen hits. Please roll for damage. That's with one of my new plus one errors. <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, plus, plus four, so eleven points of damage. Oh. Nice. Smack. Uh, Red, which one were you aiming at? The boss that went standing there by the the wagon. Oh, uh, the 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 vulpin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what was your attack roll again? Sorry. Fourteen. Yes, just meets beats. Uh, the arrow hits them and she growls loudly. Get them! Everyone, please roll initiative. Uh, would anyone else like to track initiative for me? Sure, if you want. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so whilst we're doing that... Uh, Hey Jess, you're actually up first, so uh, why don't you do me? In, in a second, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I've figured out who's second already, so we'll go for. Yeah, no uh, problem. Twenty-one. Ah. Oh. Well. <laughs> Forget what I just said. Yeah, red. it's it's red. <laughs> red, you're up. So, all right. All right. I'll uh, since I didn't go down from the first one, I'll shoot him again. Fantastic. And oh. Uh, uh, 11 <laughs> An 11 does not hit As they stand up deflecting the arrow uh, They uh, they growl once more Also, thank you very much for the hype going on in chat Five subs donated by Sphinx a short while ago Thank you so much, everyone uh, And Ooh. also, I did see earlier uh, Sprita Studios uh, Thank you so much for your subscription using Twitch Prime Red, is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Uh, well, I curse because I missed. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I get ready to shoot again. I'm ignoring everybody except for the boss. Okay. So, um, did you want me to like read out the initiative order, or just call people as they go, or you just call people like? as they go? I believe it's you. Okay, next, well right? then it's me. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's me and uh, Sunny, the tiny little Drubine, like as this was happening, grumbling at these bandits, reaches back into like their pack and pulls out a great sword that's as big as them <laughs> and goes running in charging at the person who told us to go away i think it was a mopak you said uh-huh i'm a park, yep yeah um so uh yeah just goes running charging like no nah! <laughs> like just <laughs> um do -do -do -do. Bink. uh 19 uh, a 19 definitely hits. Oh, lordy. That is uh, n 9 slashing damage, please. The Maharishi, thank you very much for gifting that sub to Ethan. Uh, Ethan, enjoy your sub and all of the benefit it brings. 77 gift subs from the Maharishi. Thank you so much for that resounding report. R uh, support, not report. Support. <laughs> report. <laughs> uh, yeah, report in every week. Thank you. Every month, forever. Um, <laughs> Sunny, nine health points is exactly the health of this Mapa. How does this look? I just, I, I, as I said, Sunny just runs in shrieking, and I think it's kind of weirdly terrifying that they're, they're literally holding up this this great sword that is as big as them. They just run, and it's very clumsy, and it probably just like strike. It's a mix of just pushing and falling. The sword is just falling in their direction <laughs> mostly and it just comes down in an awkward slash and it's like, no you get out of here if you know what's good for you! <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, next is Frey Meriden. Frey steps forward. Uh, let's get a, a, a picture of where you all are. Who's standing? Uh, are you all standing in a line in front of the bandits? Is anyone hanging back? 
Who's standing where? Uh, I'd be I'm in standing. front of the person I smashed. <laughs> yeah, I'd be standing at the point where we first saw him, so probably a little bit back from the people that are charging up killing. Yeah, I'd probably be in the back too, and like ominously shut my book as soon as the arrow flipped out. Just <laughs> I'd be a few steps in front of Squalter. Yeah, so uh, seeing Sunny attack the uh, Mapark, uh, the uh, Vulpin points at Red and starts walking uh, his way. Stormheart, you are in their path and they are going to attack you. They are able to make two attacks. First of all, uh, they're going to stab at you with their short sword. Ooh, if only I had advantage. <laughs> Does a 10 hit you? No. <laughs> They're going to attack again. How about 12? <laughs> if only I had advantage. No, <laughs> <laughs> no uh, both of those get glance off my shield. And uh, they uh, they growl at you uh, as uh, you pose them uh, a, a difficulty, a challenge. That is the end of their turn. Jess, who's next? Uh, Squalter? Squalter takes a praise of the situation, notices that there's arrows inside of the uh, the leader, uh, Frey, and just goes, banditry will not be tolerated. And he, and he points at her and is going to cast Told the Dead. So I need you to make me a wisdom save for me. Hmm. I'm nothing if not consistent. How does a 12 do against your DC? <laughs> uh, I have a DC of 13, so you have failed, sir. Um, I uh, unfortunately can't get that to work just right through the uh, through the roll 20, so I'm just going to roll it on the table. Uh -huh. I have taken uh, damage, so I believe it will be the higher of the two dice available. That's correct. And you will take nine points of necrotic damage. Ooh. As the as sounds of bells rip through. Uh, phrase ears. She shakes her head. These sounds, uh... Oh, there is. I was trying to think of a nice way of saying that, and I lost my vocabulary <laughs> altogether. Reverberate inside her skull. There we go. Yes. Yeah. That's good. You got good. You got good mojo there. That that that, that messed it up. We're gonna we. She's done. She might as well just lay down, take her boots off. I agree. <laughs> she should probably just stop. <laughs> uh, next up. Oh, do you have any other actions? Uh, no. That will be all. Okay. Well, next up is the three mop hawk, but one of them is, I'm going to say, taking a nap in the dirt. <laughs> a dirt nap. <laughs> has bitten the dust ah yes you this one is is squish dead uh so um next Oops. one Oops. uh the, it's 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 mopak one mopak two mopak three. Oh, all three of and, them brilliant yeah and then it's stormheart okay that's, so that's... the two other mopaks are going to jump over the fallen mopak's body and both of them are going to attack at sunny Sunny's still stuck holding the sword in the ground. <laughs> the super heavy great sword. <laughs> yeah! Does a, does a nine hit you, Sunny? No! <laughs> Aha! And the second one rushes in. Oh boy, it's going to be one of those days. How about a seven? No! Aha! <laughs> 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 uh <-huh. laughs> you dumb bandits, you should just give up now! <laughs> And you can indeed. Tuck behind your sword and hide behind. It. Yeah, I'm just, I'm lit, like things are just clanking off the sword. <laughs> <laughs> Doubles as a shield when you're this small. <laughs> uh, so I believe next up then will be uh, Stormheart. Yeah, so I'm just gonna laugh at this whole situation. <laughs> I mean, trying to attack me, just glancing off this little uh, what's it called, Selvin? Is Sunny what your race is called? Um, a Jabin. Oh, a Jabin. I'm yeah, a, this little Jabin yeah. flailing around with this way too big of a sword. And I'm just going to pull out my hammer and uh, 
I think it was uh, the uh, the fray that had come up to me, I believe. And I'm just gonna uh, whack at her with my hammer. So that oh. is a dirty 20. <laughs> a dirty 20 Oof. definitely hits, uh, dealing the full nine points of damage. She staggers backwards from the blow uh, and uh, does in fact turn away from you. Uh, stepping out of five foot radius, uh, she's severely injured. Are we gonna? Are we gonna stuck. like ask them questions? Do they have anything we? we want? I don't know. Do they have anything we want? Stopping them from doing any more bad. I'll stop them next time. All right. I was hey. just checking. Any other actions on your turn, Stormheart? Uh, not at this moment, no. Okay, next up then. It is red again. Yay! All right, you villains, you need to you need to just lay down your stuff here and give up because obviously we are too elite for you to fight. <laughs> and I'll uh, go ahead and not give them a chance to surrender, and I'll shoot the boss again with an arrow. Oh. Arrow. Now I'm out of character saying error. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 15. Uh, 15 hits. It's going to strike them squarely in the back. Well, if they want to be hit in the front, they should turn around. <laughs> uh, nine error. points. Uh, th this is a killing blow, Red. How, how does it look? Uh, hits him right square in the spine. Her arms kind of go back and just falls down, and there's a puff of dust in the road when she hits the ground. And I do a fist pump and jump up and down. Yeah, I got her. That's one for me. <laughs> Next up. Gimme! <laughs> um, I'm going to turn on the two Mopak who attempted to attack me and failed. I'm gonna try and show off my vicious mouse teeth. <laughs> um, and say, you should get out of here if you know it's good for you, but not give them a chance, even though I'm saying that. And <laughs> swing my great sword again. Um, does a 21 hit. <laughs> Uh, hmm, let me think. Yes, it definitely hits. <laughs> uh, that's another uh, nine points of uh, slashing damage. Sunny, how does this look? Oh, they they just fall down, and Sunny looks down like sad, like, I told you! I told you to go! <laughs> like... After Sunny? It is... Frey. Oh wait, Frey's gone, so it's not Frey. It's not Frey. <laughs> it's Squalter, and there's only the one Mopak left. Yep. Uh, you're the only one left that's remaining here. Would you care to stop and spare your life? The Mopak looks at its friends and, uh, like, uh, as a reaction, drops its weapon, raising its hands. Oh. Oh, darn it. Go. I had never... We have to... Well, there may be still time. Uh, <laughs> my new Damn. friend here, and, and, he, and he just kind of walks through, walks up to him. Uh, what have you been doing here on this stretch of road? The Mopak looks, uh, this is the one that was uh, rifling through the cart and leaving packages all over the road. Uh, they look down at the, uh, at the the crumpled figure and look at the cart and they're going to try and dart away from you into the forest. Squalter, you can take an opportunity attack uh, being within five feet of them if you would wish. Well, then. Not that proficient with my martial attack weapons, but let's see what happens. Well, uh, yes, a 14 would hit. A zero damage is hilarious. <laughs> um, <laughs> Can I say that I tripped him then? 
Um, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, why don't you? Yeah, uh, see, that's why I said I'm super weak when it comes to the strength stuff. So it's. <laughs> oh, did you use both hands? Um, I would say so. Yeah, yeah, because well, I would use both hands on that. Yeah. Well, then that's two damage rather than rather than zero yeah. damage, uh, and the Mapuk takes that two damage and continues running straight for the forest. Uh, is it their action next, Sunny? Uh, yeah, actually, they're next. So they're gonna dash into the forest. So they, yeah, they move. you better run. <laughs> you see him move thirty uh, feet, and then another thirty feet. Uh, red, red. Uh, you. He looks like he wants an arrow. <laughs> can, I st- <laughs> can I still see? It, it it'd be Stormheart's turn though. But it's uh, yeah, it's Stormheart's well, turn. Yeah. Is there Based anybody on... still close by, or just the one running away? Just the one running away. You estimate they're about and the crumpled body. Yeah. Yes. We should probably we should probably help with that person. <laughs> but I mean, oh, if yeah. anyone, they're only sixty feet away. If anyone has anything that reached his... Right, you said they dashed 30 and 30? Nothing that I could do in this turn, no. So Mm -hmm. I'll head over to the body and see if I can, I don't know, stabilize them, help them up or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, uh, they they, they, they would be grateful of your stabilizing. Um, Fred, let's see it. Can I see him from where I is? Uh, Yeah, you can see them going through the trees. Uh, We'll say the trees give them half cover, increasing their AC by two. Uh, <laughs> 21 <laughs> oh yeah your arrow flies between the trees seeming to sneak through the trunks and finds its mark what's the damage uh, three plus one, uh, 11 oh Oop. you Oop. hear a squeak from the forest and a flump you shouldn't oh. run from me boy you're just gonna die tired <laughs> they should have answered huh? more questions Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we 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 told them they didn't Game listen. Gave him every chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, Stormheart, how's it going over there? <laughs> They're hurt. <laughs> I didn't I didn't realize you're you're good at like making people feel better. Uh, hey, you do yeah. you feel better? <laughs> <laughs> this is a small Eluran, uh, one of the cat people. Uh, (gasps) sorry she hails from beyond humblewood this isn't a local creature but uh she has uh small ears with like you know the uh the sphinxes that have the little poofs on the end of their ears that's what she has uh she has uh sort of yellow greeny eyes and a very kindly face um she uh She's looking pretty down on her luck, but with a little water and some assistance, she's able to stand. She was mostly cowering to avoid further damage, uh, hoping that the bandits would take her stuff and leave her alone. Um, she describes the road ahead, uh, saying that um, it, this road works its way along the uh, mock fields, uh, a large swampland, uh, and that um, she was planning to stop in the winnowing reach to sell her wares and acquire new stock before eventually making her way to Alderheart. She asks if you would escort her. Well, will you escort me uh, to the Winnowing Reach and then on to Alderheart, perhaps in a few more days? I can make it worth your while. The Winnowing Reach is on your way. It is on the way, yes. Well, it is heading in our direction. I don't see why not. We can always use more company. And clearly banditry is a problem. Uh, I'm assuming that you'd probably want some assistance uh, regarding that. Yes. Yes, please. Uh, I think even just traveling in a group will will make things uh, deter them. I'm I was foolish to travel alone. I didn't realize the bandits were so active in this area. Yes. Uh, traveling in a group sometimes helps. Apparently didn't help my brother at all. Oh, and she rests um, a, a, a f- five small toe beans on your arm. And she has <gasps> tiny paws. Tiny, tiny little ones. 
like uh, if she's holding a stick as a staff, she can barely get her paws around the stick. That's how small her <laughs> paws are. And, it's too cute. How dare you? And and he just looks at her and just, I, I appreciate the sentiment. Uh, Red is gonna go uh, dig his arrows out of people, uh, and then kind of search through their belongings. There, it's a uh, you know uh, road rewards, <laughs> and I start checking them out for uh, any kind of loot. Your thing, uh, Red. First of all, roll me a d20. Uh, Eighteen. Uh, you recover uh, enough arrows to continue considering your uh, your quiver full um looking across these bandits they are wearing worn leather armor uh, and each one carries a poorly kept short sword um uh, amongst them there is a small coin purse with five gold pieces inside it on the vulpin it's a slightly different story she is wearing stud a suit of studded leather armor clearly stolen and in good condition uh she also carries a finely crafted short sword with a rose insignia on the pommel hmm. would we recognize this insignia from like some kind of family crest or something uh why don't y'all make me a history check sunny you can make me this check with advantage considering your past of not banditry. Uh, not banditry. Um, oh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. Li- I, I'm not gonna do better than that. <clears throat> um, I got a third. I'm not gonna compete with that. Twenty-five. Can I just say, I found her art in the book, and she's so cute, and I love her so much. <laughs> as soon as you mentioned her, I knew who you were talking about. I'm sorry. Uh, I rolled a nineteen. Okay, a 19's pretty good. A 19, you recognize, uh, or maybe uh, on your way up here, you might have seen uh, uh, a group who called themselves adventurers, um, but seemed very shady. And one of them carried a rose sword that looked a lot like this. They seem to be the leader. On that 25, Squalter, you have been researching um, for some time, and you recognize this rose straight away. Uh, this rose uh, is used by bandits uh, to donate to denote a captain. Uh, you also know that uh, they uh, this insignia is uh, uh, is uh, a um, was 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 bought into um, bought into use um, by Benna. Uh, a uh, ex noble turned bandit. So I have a thought because this rose is used to denote bandit captains. So, how about a little subterfuge? How about we take, one, take this rose and pres- give it to one of you, and then we become our own little bandit troop? So, so to speak. That way we may be able to get more information before firing arrows off at people, and then firing arrows off at people. Wait, you want to become bandits? I thought that's like the opposite of what we were doing. Oh, no, 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 no. We will not become bandits ourselves. We would just be able to pass through them uh, on the way. Uh, you know, that way we don't have to constantly, even though if we, we want to, we could, we, could, we could, you know, murder our way through. Uh, which I have no objections to. I just was offering another another solution to our problem. That's all I'm saying. Well, that's good. We're not going to be bandits because it's going to be mighty hard for me to shoot myself with my bow. Oh, that's a good point. Yes. No, we mm-hmm. don't want you to shoot yourself. You could just uh, aim directly up. Uh, Eliza chimes in uh, helpfully. That's so clever. That makes sense. Willard, why didn't you tell me that? She's smart. She is. We, that's a good thing we got her around. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So who's who is our new uh, pretend bandit captain? Stormheart. 
Do you want to be our new pretend bandit captain? <laughs> you look, you look big. I, I was thinking of of the irony of having Sunny be the bandit captain, but you know, Stormheart works as well. Hey, I'll take it if oh, you don't want I it. I agree with Squalter. I agree with Squalter. Yeah, oh, really? See another display of earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I always wondered about these swords. I mean, I've never seen one of these before, but it's real nice. <laughs> and I'll take it if you don't want it. Sure. So I have a new, it's, it's a rose short sword. Or, sorry. Uh, it's, uh, you can add it into your uh, inventory just as a normal short sword for now. Okay. Well, that's got to be easier than you swinging a sword that's the size of a tree. What? You think? No, I like this one. This is my... I've worked hard on using this. <laughs> and I, like, <laughs> I jumped back. <laughs> it is quite effective, actually. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Right. Pointing to, it works. Pointing to some of the cleaved people around us. like <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, mostly all you got... I found the trick is... You just gotta, you just gotta lift it up, and then let it come down. Uh, I appreciate your uh, good humors, but the sun's getting low, and truly, we are well into golden hour. I'd like to get to the Willowing Weech before nightfall, if possible. Okay, okay. Quite right. Wanna... Let, let's head out. Probably reconsidering the yeah, having us help her after listening to us talk for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she seems uh, strangely perceptible. I think saving her has uh, given you a lot of karma points as far as she's concerned. Um, she uh, begins pulling uh, her cart. Oh, as... do, you need, do you need some help with that? <laughs> Sunny's going to go up to the front to see if they <laughs> if they can help like this. You can see her taking the reins over her shoulder, and as she pushes her weight into it, she begins moving the car at the tremendous speed of 10 feet per round. <laughs> can I can I try and help? Sure thing. Give me an athletics check. That's a 12. <laughs> what is your movement speed? 30. With your help... The cart picks up, and uh, the cart begins to roll along at 30 feet per round. Hey! Heck yeah! Now we're moving. Let's go. You know, you know. This is much easier. And as our party trundles down the road with goods in tow and a new friend in Eliza, uh, the, uh, the Eluran, uh, I think that is where we're going to take our break. So, we're going to take five minutes to stretch, grab water, and take bios, all of that good stuff. You should do the same, especially if you've been with us since the beginning. We'll be back in five minutes. See you soon.
Welcome back, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful break. We certainly did. Um, during our break, we discussed the final points of what it truly means to be a bandit. Uh, and, you know, uh, all of the mercy that is attributed to that conversation. Um, <laughs> carrying on down the road, uh, our party um, uh, will find their way going along the uh, the this swamp land known as the uh, known as the mock fields um, however down the road Eliza suddenly stops her keen eyes focusing in the distance do you see that What? Where are we looking at? Perception checks. <laughs> oh, nice. Dang, that good. <laughs> Fourteen. I trained owl eyes. <laughs> yeah. I don't see anything, Willard. Do you see it? <laughs> well... You notice, as you've been making your way down this road, that the terrain on the left has been changing considerably. The uh, lush green trees lining the road uh, barely mask burnt stumps and ash-covered fields. Looks as if a massive fire had recently ravaged this place. And in fact, you can see fly fire flickering in the distance. Those of you who rolled uh, above a ten. Hey. Well, that ain't on right. On that dirty 20, uh, Stormheart, you can see that this doesn't look like just any fire. This looks like, perhaps, some ember bats. <gasps> oh, this don't look right. This don't look right at all. We should either move along or get ready. Uh, as they begin rushing towards your party, Eliza dives under her cart. And before you know it, the ember bats are upon you. Everyone, please roll initiative. Jess, you still okay to chat? Yeah, yeah, I can do. Wow. Good. <laughs> good. Oh, boy. Yeah, I thought I did good this time. Temple, what'd you get? 13. Okay. I'm scared of bats. <laughs> uh... Okay, it's me first again. <laughs> um... I've got a feeling this is going to be a theme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least I'm not last this time. I'm prepared. No, I'll, I'll take that. In. I'll, I'll go last. <laughs> Way to rub salt <laughs> in the wound. Um... <laughs> Um, okay, so wait, what do we, what does this look like? So, so Eli Eliza Two jumped into the cat. of ember bats. Swarms of... Ember have, bats. Have, have, have we seen these before? Is this something we, like, know of? Squalter will have read about them in his books. Um, the rest of you may not have seen them before. They look uh, like small bat-like creatures made of fire uh, with orange bellies and keen eyes. Well, that ain't right. too cute in this game. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Those I things think... can see in the dark. They burn oh. everything in sight. How, how do we fight fire? I've heard with fire, but I don't have any fire. Does anyone have fire? Um, I've I'm got just a gonna. <laughs> I, think, I think errors work. I. I well. All of the above. Let's just. <laughs> uh, do I? Can I? Are any of them close enough, Scrap, for me for my for uh, my are sword? Just beyond the line of trees, they are going to be on you within a turn. They're about thirty feet away. Oh, oh, oh! I actually have something else. Sunny, Sunny, switch and goes into their pack and switches <laughs> from their great sword. Puts that one down. Is like no, no, no. Pulls out a pike. <laughs> 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 this is this is better for poking things and like <laughs> may, may i do i have enough time to like run up and poke at one 
I mean, you've done a lot of talking and rummaging, but never say I I'm not- I think that's it then. Yeah, I think I just no, get ready no, with no, my pike Never then. say that I am not a kind DM. You may no, go fair. and attack. Go and attack. Go on. Please. I, you're right, though. I you did, did get a nat a 20. You did get a nat 20. Okay, that's true. I did get a nat 20. Okay. <laughs> Gave me <laughs> enough time to grab my pike and poke. I'm going to attempt to poke with my pike. <laughs> Um, does a, does a nat one hit? Roll 20, give a, f and roll 20, take off away. Um, <laughs> you, uh, do not, uh, hit the ember bats, I'm afraid. Okay, next is, next is the bats. The bats, at least the first one, is going to attack you. That's fair enough. Uh, they swarm around you, um kind of occupying your space. Um, ooh, yeah, they're, they're all around you. They're literally on you now. And uh, you feel the many, many clawing maws of tiny, fiery bats. Hey, hey, ah, ah! <laughs> uh, hmm... Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna hurt. I mean, un unpleasant is one description. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Um, but despite the heat, this does count as piercing damage. Interesting. Please take eleven points of piercing damage. Ow. That is, I, I um, well, I am very. I probably go down to one knee. I am very ouched right now. On a scale of one to ouch, I have many ouches, just so you know. Oh. Uh, yeah, Sunny, Sunny goes from like overexcited, talking too much, switching between weapons, running up and poking, to like swarmed and like down and just almost out. Um, next is uh, Stormheart, uh, unless the bats have anything else. I'm gonna throw in a little uh, homebrew rule here. This is not rules as written, so I wanna make you all aware of it. As the uh, bats are swarming around Sunny, attacking that swarm works just like normal. If you beat their AC, you hit the bats. However, nat ones have a chance of hitting Sunny. Uh, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Unless you can heal me. <laughs> not a paladin. <laughs> Squalter's answer, not yet. <laughs> yes. Uh, when you're dead, then I can do things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so if the bats well, are dead, it's storm hearts. Yeah. Right. So see these swarms, uh, this these bats uh, swarm uh, sunny. Uh, I will um, run up to them and try and like whack them away. Okay. Uh, are you trying? Not a nat one. <laughs> that oh, that said. is definitely oh my not a nat yeah. one. My goodness. This is the most critical of hits. If epic moments happen to heroes, this is yours, Stormheart. How does this look as you successfully defeat the bats and protect your friend? Well, I would say I'm going to run up there and just start uh, swinging both my shield and oops, shield and <laughs> warhammer at them, just whacking them out of the air, just like bundles at a time. Sunny. Thank you. <laughs> I imagine it feels somewhat like being inside the eye of a storm as storm hearts... Uh, Foray against these bats creates destruction everywhere except for about your person. Yeah, Sunny, Sunny is like literally like leaning on their pike, like barely, barely still up right now as you just like clear. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get up, Sunny, and I'm like gonna like pull you up a little bit. It's like we've got some more work to do. <laughs> okay, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yep, yep, more, more fighting. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, red turns. Red's turn next. All right, I'll uh, I'll stand there and wait for the bats. I'm I'm looking at them, and I wait for a bunch of them to line up, and then I shoot. <laughs> fourteen. A fourteen will hit. Mm, 
Seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. I'm trying to get as many bats with one arrow as I can. You do see a few of them get struck, but the swarm still seems very strong. Ah. Sun was in my eyes. I'll be better next time. <laughs> Uh, it's important to note that uh, although uh, Stormheart's critical hit has knocked a lot of the bats away, there are still a couple in that swarm left. Also. Um, they got little scratches on them from errors. Uh, no, you, you hit the other swarm. The other swarm, they, oh, okay, you know, good. they're still flying strong. Still strong. All right. Um, next in the turn order. Sorry, I realized I just muted myself. Uh, it's the bats, the other bats, not the first, not the, not the murdering me bats, the other <laughs> bats. The second swarm of bats lets out uh, a piercing wail, uh, a, 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 a screech on the edge of your hearing, so high-pitched you can only just catch the end of it. And uh, in the distance you see flames erupt a little more. However, they fly towards Red, and uh, they try and swarm around you, Red. In fact, they do swarm around you, Red. They're all around you. And uh, you also... Does a 19 hit you? Uh, yeah, I think it's me. You feel those tiny moors as they do six piercing damage to your person. Ow. I'm flailing around with my bow and arrow, just trying to swap some of them down. <laughs> that's, that's the end of the bat's turn. Yep, so then it's squat. I'm still up, though. Walter has a decision. Um, and so he... <laughs> he is going to put his faith into Stormheart to take care of the other bats. So what he does is he's going to fire a ray of sickness at the uh, bats that are surrounding Red. So like 30 to 20 to hit. 30 20 definitely hits. And let's see here. Let me get the damage that want to carry over. So let me go ahead and just roll those real quick. So a ray of sickness. I now have bats puking and pooping on me, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that, is, that is right. Oh, yeah. Uh, nine, yeah. <laughs> nine points of, of uh, poison damage. And then they have to make a constitution saving throw beating a 13. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of damage on this saving throw. What was the number you said? 13. Uh, yeah, so it was 13. Yep, Yep, 13. They make the save. What happens? Uh, well, if they would have failed it, they would have been poisoned. So. Okay. So I'm seeing a lot of damage there. More than 9. I'm seeing 14 poison damage on your, on your sheet display. Oh, did I? Yeah, uh, I roll, guess. Okay. In roll twenty. Uh, I it guess rolls. it. Uh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah. In roll twenty, it will roll your damage out for you if you're using uh, D and D Beyond. So. Uh, I gotcha. There it is. Yeah. So that yeah. that's what it did. Fantastic. Uh, well. Uh, this is. It seems super effective. A large number of the bats fall out of the air. In fact, there are only two bats uh, left. It's not so much a swarm now. <laughs> as a swoop. <laughs> um, who's next? Hit me. I'm going to try and poke him again and be like, shoo, bats, so get it out. And with my pike, which has 
three. Oh my goodness, I'm not good with this weapon. I'm good with my other weapon. It's <laughs> an eight. a hit. I don't think hits. Having started your turn within five feet of some ember bats, could you yep. please make me a DC 10 constitution saving throw? Yep. <laughs> I'm about to go down, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> nine. <laughs> Maybe now is a good time to point out to everyone in chat. You can help our players by donating advantages, <laughs> and nat twenties, and other things. Um, yeah, I, I, I fear this is going to turn. On the other side. <laughs> I've got a feeling this is going to turn into another season of me uh, allegedly bullying Jess. Uh, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> hey, hey, not not charged. Um, Please, uh, I'll let you roll your own damage. Please roll me 1d4. Uh, it doesn't uh, matter. I only have one health oh, left. I'm going down. As a, I a, am. I... <laughs> a small amount of fame, the tiniest trickle, catches Sunny, and uh, Sunny, you fall on exactly zero HP. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Sunny. Sunny. It's down <laughs> in, a, in a sad little tiny furry heap. Don't worry, Sunny, I'll save you. <laughs> it is uh the it is the bats that murdered me. It's their turn. <laughs> uh, the bats are going to attack Jess on the. I'm joking. Uh, the bats. <laughs> uh, the, <laughs> the bats swarm around Stormheart next. Uh, there's only a very small amount of bats left, Stormheart. You are very effective. One of them is going to try and get under your shield. Does a 10 hit you? Oh. Then I believe, is it is it Stormheart's turn next? I believe yep. so. Yep. Well, then let's whack these out of the air here. Does a 16 hit? Ooh. Yes, it does. Uh, and the last of the bats are knocked to the ground. Hey, I'm down there too. <laughs> yes, indeed you are. Uh, one bat. Oh, we're in that pile. Unceremoniously on Sunny's body. <laughs> <Whomp>. <laughs> it's uh, Red's turn next. Well, I'm. Uh, how many do I still have? I have some still around me, right? You do. Uh, there is uh, literally two bats swarming around you. All right. Well. Since uh, since they're in close and they ain't in good shooting distance, I'll drop my bow and pull out both my daggers. Oh boy! And I'll go after it with my daggers. By all Does me. that take a bonus action to draw, or? Uh, nah, I ignore those. It's, uh... Okay, good. Then I'll go out and I'll put a dagger on each bat, which it's a swarm, so you know. Uh, oh, that's good. Uh, twenty-two. That definitely hits. Okay. Uh, three plus four. Okay, three, uh, six points of damage. That's with the first dagger. I'm going to do an offhand attack with the second one. Okay. Uh, how many points of damage, sorry? Six. Six. Uh, ooh, that's very good. One of the bats is very felled. One bat <laughs> remaining. And a oh, <laughs> natural one on that offhand attack. <laughs> Mm. Oops! My dagger sticks in the cart. <laughs> one bat, one singular bat, no longer a swarm, uh, <laughs> flaps menacingly because <laughs> they are, of course, a menace. Go away, bat! Shoot! We'll let you live if you just leave. I tried that too. <laughs> <laughs> Never works. Uh, um. It's the bat's turn next. <laughs> uh, Batter the, up. The bat is going to try and bite you. Bat me? Yep. Uh, I stabbed the other guy. I didn't stab you. <laughs> you, sh you should be thanking me. Yeah, I'm having a conversation <laughs> with the bat. <laughs> does a four hit you? No, it does not. Strangely enough. The bat squeaks. Well, okay then, just go. It's Walter. <laughs> All right. Uh, what I'm going to do is on the singular bat that's flying around, 
I'm going to have it make the wisdom save because I'm going to toll the dead on it and just make it, <laughs> if it, it, and if it dies, it just goes <laughs> Yeah, puff of bat. And so that's a wisdom save, be the 13. On a nat one, the bat does indeed poof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do I have a face full of bat innards? <laughs> uh, yeah, just. Actually, Ooh. no. Rather, you have a face full of ash. Uh. In the distance, <laughs> you can see the flames rising, moving like flames do on the wind. Except there is no wind. That looks like a cloud of ember bats. Oh. I would like to reach into the pile of ember bats, pull up Sunny, and put her on the car and say, Somebody help her. <laughs> and then we're going to grab the car and start pulling. <laughs> sure thing. Give me an athletics check. Okay. 19. Oh, 19. You get that oh. cart moving, all right. Uh, you can move. Uh, uh, you can even, if you want to, you can dash with the cart uh, as you make it look easy. You reveal Eliza under the cart who has her hands over her head <laughs> um, <laughs> as you make your way down the road. Um, she stands up and starts chasing after you. Uh, how about the rest <laughs> of you? I'd I chase right after him. I'm going to hang back those and turn around every now and then and fire an arrow. At the, at oh, the we're bat. talking a thousand feet away plus. This cloud must be huge. Well, then I won't do that. If they get close, I'll air raid them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and for the first time, while well, the cart just starts to take off, Squelter doesn't have his face in, in his book, but he didn't open it up again. He stuffs it in his bag. Eh, 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 <laughs> just starts to chase after it. Not the most athletic person in the world, so he's just like, eh, puffing along. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> so, running as you are, the hour journey to uh, the Winnowing Reach is significantly smaller. However, as you do keep checking back on the swarm, you can see that the cloud is heading south towards Meadowfen. Hmm. However, you soon arrive at, um, at, at Winnowing Reach uh, and... Uh, Eliza is very grateful to you all. Uh, she turns to you and goes, "Oh, thank you. You, you should have a rest. Uh, you're going to need it. Um, we'll, we'll be heading to uh, Alderheart soon." And she gives you a slow wink, kind of like a slow cat blink, but a wink. Is there something wrong with your eye? No, I'm just saying you should get a rest. Ah. Hey, look. Yeah. This is in the book. Oh, like, she pick wins. up Sunny and, like, yeah, we need one. <laughs> yeah, Sunny's still out. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, you're unconscious. Yep. Uh, can we um, do some kind of medicine roll to stabilize her or something? Uh, yes. We could say if, yeah, uh, someone did give me a medicine check. Someone behind, besides me, give him an check. What? What did you roll? <laughs> well, I got a plus two, so a seven. <laughs> okay, okay. Sunny has one death save failure. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sunny. I had the band aids on wrong. <laughs> you like smack my unconscious body Ooh. or something? Oh, I mean, that's ray of sickness. That's ray of sickness. Uh, I, I did. I didn't mean to. I, I was just I trying to. Fix it. <laughs> Are you murdering me? <laughs> I didn't mean I didn't mean to click that. I'm sorry. I you already have like to it. make a new character. <laughs> no, like that short turn up, story. turn up at Winnowing Reach. We found a bandit captain. Um, <laughs> would anyone else like to? In. No, I'm just kidding. Make a medicine check. I would like to find somebody who actually can do medicine because I cannot. 
Oh, um, spider. This will be retroactive before we arrive at the uh, village. Oh. Um, oh. So well, uh, given that I was pulling the card, I couldn't have really done anything. <laughs> fantastic. In that case, Sunny, can you make me a death saving throw, please? Sure. Uh, oh, what uh, about go on. The uh, trader, the merchant lady. Hey, Eliza? yeah, why not? Let's see if Eliza can help. Eliza, get up on that wagon and fix her. You know what? <laughs> Eliza gives you one death saving throw success. Level pegging. Okay. okay, okay, okay. So I've got one failure, one success. Cool. Um. Doop. A17. Nice. You That's have a success. two successes. Uh, you can see her condition is improving as you are running. You're now getting very close to town. It's right there. Give me one more medicine, uh, one more saving throw, Sunny. Is there such a thing as something someone can do to bonus me? No, because that's not a thing with death saves. Another 17! Hey! I'm All alive! Right, you stabilize, <laughs> and the journey counts as a short <gasps> rest. You can use some hit dice if you like to regain some health. Oh. I'm gonna do that, thank you. <laughs> and now the interaction with Eliza, seeing that Sunny is okay, makes a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We Rest did it. Up. Oh, also, I'll be opening my shop. Uh, so, um, uh, y y y y you. Y I, I think it seems only right that you get a reward. Um, please, you can take a pit your pick of my stock. What kind of stock does she have? Uh, any of you can can take uh, one piece of adventuring gear worth 50 gold pieces or less. Ooh. Everyone, uh, go to your, your handbooks. <laughs> yeah. Yep. She's not a traveling healing potion salesman, is she? <laughs> yeah, she doesn't have any. But that would be my number one also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like... You have to be proficient with a medicine kit for that to give you advantage, yeah. right? Yeah. That doesn't help. Can you... So, uh... My, uh... My, I plan to only have a brief stop here uh, to sell some wares and acquire new stock. Um, so... I'll tell you what, how about you all help me? Then we could hopefully keep this down to just one night. We'll surely need to find somewhere to stay tonight. Sounds good. That's our plan. Welcome, raiders. Uh, please check out our hey, content raiding. warning posted in chat just now. Um, she asks each of you to drum up some sales. To head into the tavern, the local uh, square, and other place to uh, to um, try and uh, let people know that she's there. Uh, Wait, what? She just employed us? She didn't employ you. She just asked your help. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, mean, sure. I could, I could, I could go in there and like chase them out. Would that help? I could like <laughs> go in and like. <laughs> Yeah, I can. Is that is that that's that's helpful, right? I can. Sunny is being genuine right now and is waiting for a response. Uh, Eliza is staring at you with a concerned look on her face. Her mouth hangs slightly open, kind of like a familiar meme. <laughs> I think uh, I would approach the town's guard just as a fellow town's guard man. It's like, hey, we just brought this. Merch over here. If you uh, guys need any mention, uh, the town's guard is brushing past you, Stormheart, in a in a rush, and uh, he's oh, you there. You look like a, a guardsman yourself. I am. We need to do something. That that swarm is heading down towards the people of Meadowfen. They needed help. Uh, we have a Corvum in the bar uh, who says that uh, they that the town will be undefended without his party. Well, then let's meet this Corvum. No, 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 he's fine. We're, we're getting him medical attention. We need to get someone down there to warn Meadowfen of the incoming attack. Oh, they have, they've been warned, that's why we're here. The problem is we have no way of stopping that that big of a swarm. Yes, no, there's no stopping that big of a swarm. They'll just have to hide in their homes. Uh, but uh, a few days to prepare and get plenty of water inside will 
will help them greatly. Uh, 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 we just came from there. You want you you want us to like make it like run back? Like, do we? Is that a thing? How? Uh, and uh, he's like uh, he's uh, he's uh, he's got a uh, cart. Uh, he's getting it ready. He's uh, just saddling up some beetles. He's like, look, this cart will be ready to go in the next. Uh, uh, the next four or five, uh, then, well, hopefully the next two hours if I can get everything set straight. Uh, I could use uh, someone else to help me. We're a little busted up if you hadn't noticed. Sure. Or, I mean, if you're just talking about helping getting ready, we can do that. I can do that. Wait, yeah, do you just need help getting ready? Because we kind of already are on a mission. Uh, he is asking specifically Stormheart, who is wearing guards uniform, to join him. Oh, specifically to join him. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I was sent from there to undertake something else, but I can help you get ready so you can be on your way quicker. I see, uh, I, I can see you have urgent business, but you have a large party. I'm sure, I'm sure uh, they'll be able to t carry on your, your quest without you. Those people need your help. So do others. Hmm. Would anyone like to investigate the Corvum being held up in the tavern? I would sure. do that. Walter, as you walk through the door, you see your brother resting, oh. resting in the corner, uh, heavily bandaged. I I walk in and I and I see him, and then I, I turn to the bartender real quick and go. I was sent here to go talk, talk about a shop. There's a shop over there. It's going to be open soon. Brother! And it, it, it just comes <laughs> running over and running over to him. I, I heard you were dead. Yeah, I got pretty hurt. He says, uh, craning up. So they yet sent you after me, Squalter. Yes, there, there was... Uh, uh, me and my uh, my companions, yes, we did send it, but I was ve very desperate to come find you. Because, again, the rumors were that you were dead, and I had to come and collect the body for myself or make sure that you were okay. Uh, clearly, you, I mean, you're not okay because you're in pain, but, but you are at least alive. Uh, he grabs your uh, lapel and pulls you down. Brother, you must promise me something. If I ever die to bandits or anything like that, you must raise my body and make me fight them until I die a thousand more times. <laughs> he, like, lets out a hearty laugh and he just goes, Of course I would! That's my whole plan! <laughs> <laughs> you know my you know my work very well. Good- Oh, brother! And, like, he hugs him. And even though he's in <laughs> tremendous amount of pain, and he's probably oh, oh. <laughs> Easy. Uh, and I would, uh, the, uh, I would do anything for you, my brother. Uh, and uh, a, a small voice from next to you as uh, an ancient Jerbean healing uh, lady. Well, the best thing you can do right now is step aside. Very well. And she, uh, <laughs> as he says it, <laughs> climbs up on the bed. Uh, and uh, replaces the, uh, the the flannel covering your brother's. Uh, 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 I've forgotten what that part of the bird's called. We'll call it a forehead um, between the eyes, uh, and um, uh, begins liberally applying whiskey to some of his wounds. And uh, he begins letting out groans as uh, she uh, ministers to him. Oh, you know, pain is good. That's right. That's right. Pain is good for you. <laughs> So you're his uh, brother. I, uh, I am indeed. And he like begins to like set up a chair next to him and is going to like start to unpack his books and stuff. Like he's in it for the long haul now. <laughs> and she begins uh, talking to you about his condition and the various things. Uh, Sunny Red, where do you go? Uh, the end of the bar. You see all of this. Hey, look! He's got another brother. Well, this this is my brother that? Terence. Yes. Well, well, you said you said that that one was dead. Who's this one? 
That is a happy miscalculation. He is very much alive. Oh, well, yeah, I guess so then. <laughs> I ain't never seen nothing like that. Uh, is there anything we can do to help your brother? He looks like he might have beat up. He, he looks worse than Sonny here. Sorry, Sonny. You want a drink? Yeah, I, I, I feel like I feel like a lot better actually. <laughs> the small jar bean uh, comes storming towards you, Sonny, and oh, slaps oh no. a I'm, hand I'm okay. on I'm your okay. forehead. Oh no! And uh, <laughs> Amber bots, how many? Um, looks around. Uh, uh. Ah, uh, personally, for me. Raises your arm me. and looks at ah. your fur, at the patches that have been hit by ember bat things. I'm feeling a lot better, I swear! She begins to uh, administer to you, um, wrapping parts of your fur that uh, have been uh, have been scorched and bitten, and uh, she will nurse you to full health, though her medicines taste disgusting and her Blah. slings are uncomfortable. Blah. Ow! 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 Shh! You big baby! Ow, but it hurts! I watched Sunny go through this. Uh, my feathers just always look burnt like this. Don't worry about me. <laughs> she looks at you like... He's lying! He's lying! He's lying! <laughs> Help him! Uh, and she forces you down onto a chair, Sunny, and uh, says... Rest! You have to take a bed here tonight and not move until morning. Uh, and then she like begins advancing on you, Red. Ah! No, really? No, really? No, uh -uh. no. You receive similar treatment with short shrift and kind but firm attitude. Willard, help! <laughs> I, I'm very sorry for your care here, brother. She means well. I, I was left for dead. So. They abandoned you? That whole group of people we sent out to invest- No, no, not abandoned. After the bandits had picked me clean, they left me for dead. Mm. I see. And he just- The whole thing is upsetting him, he just starts to- uh, I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're alive. And then just opens up a book and is just like, "There, there, brother. I'm here for you." <laughs> Seems to ignore yeah. his brother as he reads. <laughs> yeah. Is there any way I can sneak out? <laughs> hey, this is from... D and D. There's always ways you can do things. Roll me a sneak roll. Stealth. <laughs> Fifteen. I feel like this person is very perceptive. Oof! You sneak out of the tavern. <laughs> like, just <laughs> drop and, like, sneak my way back out. As the door closes... Oh, go on. Do I notice Sunny leaving? Uh, what's your passive perception? Uh... Very passive. Hang on. Usually wisdom uh, modifier, unless you have uh, proficiency. Right. I'm checking. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, not good. Oh. And plus your wisdom modifier, isn't it? Mm. I'm looking. Mine, Hang on. Mine, mine is twelve. My wisdom yeah. modifier is two. Mine is ten. <laughs> you do so, not, not you do not notice uh, uh sunny leave however sunny as the door closes behind you and you begin sneaking along the wall uh red you will be alerted to sunny being missing by uh the the gerbean uh who uh, is soon become to known as uh karen um <laughs> And uh, she, she, um, she, uh, she uh, turns to go back to treat Sunny, and uh, Sunny, you hear from inside, <gasps> "Where's she gone? She's supposed to be here, and administered by me." Uh, and uh, there's a, a fury in her voice. 
I'm very pleased to have gotten away from that. Yeah. It sounds uh, like she's searching, though. <laughs> oh, God, I started scrambling away. <laughs> well, if she's distracted searching for Sunny, I'm going to make a break for the door. <laughs> sure. Uh, no sneaking, just run for it? Just run for it. <laughs> yep, uh, you can get free. All right. <laughs> Can I see, like, is Stormheart still being taken by this person? Is making them go away? Uh, Badgered. Stormheart will be giving uh, uh, aid, right? Giving aid to him getting the beat. Yeah, ready. helping them get ready, that kind of thing, yeah. Okay. Well, since since the Jerbean healer is distracted inside, huh. Stormheart's busy there. Squalter's with his brother. Red, you came outside. Yeah, <laughs> if the doors okay. just slam open and I'm out there. <laughs> um, is there, is there, I like just give Red a nod. <laughs> like, <laughs> we made it. <laughs> but <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> is there, is there anywhere in this town where we could get healing? Oh, I guess we probably don't have enough money. I only have like a gold, I think. I don't think that's enough money to buy healing Hello. potions. <laughs> yeah. Just like, just feel like we could really use them. Oh, oh, To the ooh, south can I... west of the town, mm -hmm. you see an apothecary. Mm. Mm. Can I... Could I have noticed the commotion with Red coming, bursting out the door? <laughs> sure thing, yeah, by all means. In that case, I'm going to use that chance to, like, turn towards them and walk just straight towards them. It's like, what news is there? To get away from the badgering. <laughs> Uh, you, I, I feel like you see both of us all like awkwardly wrapped up. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, there's a healer inside. Don't go in. Oh. <laughs> so, oh. Don't do it. <laughs> she's she's real. She's real rough. The bats were nicer. Yeah, the bats. Yeah, I prefer more of the bats, please. Um, but but there seems to be an apothecary over there. So sounds like something we should visit. Yeah. I was, get over there. Yeah. I was gonna say, is there any chance? I'm just thinking. Oh, I I don't have enough money to trade or anything like that. But Eliza owes us stuff or offered us stuff. Can we convince Eliza to come with us to do a swap on our behalf? Hmm. Hey, you know that fifty gold worth of stuff you offered me? Can you swap it for a potion, which is what I actually need, and you do not have? <laughs> like. Uh <laughs> Eliza has left her car. Um, oh, I'm not gonna steal. She has <laughs> permitted you to take one item worth up to fifty gold. Okay. What do you think would be of value to the apothecary for trade? Um. Um. Uh, oh, like. Yeah. What was it? Plants. She got any plants in there? Uh, yeah, the plants. She, she like specializes. Or something? Yeah, she specializes in uh, uh, in adventuring gear. I'm afraid. So. What about what about um, empty vials or glass things? Like we could trade, like huh. component parts or stuff like that. Like oil flasks that could be used for potion flasks. Yeah. Ooh, like does she have any like acid or oil flask or glass? Um, Anti toxin. Yeah, that's gotta come in a flask, right? She huh? does huh? have an, a vial of acid. Huh? She huh? also has huh? a vial of alchemist's fire. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Which works. is listed in the PHB as adventuring gear. And it's worth a bit, a bit isn't it? Exactly kind of, 50 gold pieces. And it's kind of counterproductive for us to use that in this campaign. Very, very carefully. <laughs> Picks that up, cradles it in both hands, <laughs> and then runs towards the alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> Just like holding it out as if it's like actually harming them, even though it's completely contained, but it is terrifying. <laughs> okay, let's try and trade this. <laughs> is that, uh, as you rush up to the apothecary door, night has settled. And you uh -oh. see a sign hanging on the door saying closed. No! <laughs> 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 
Well, maybe they live in the back. <laughs> I'll, start, I'll start banging on the door. Hey, wake up in there. This is an emergency. <laughs> Hello? Bong, 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 bong. Yeah, hey, let us in! I'm gonna try and intimidate this door. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> we have dealt with a lot. It's been a day. We really need your help. We got cool stuff to trade. Between please three, come yeah. out. Can you both please take me? In and intimidate the door. Well, either one of you can roll with advantage or both of you can roll an intimidation check. Uh, take advantage, my rolls sir. Okay, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. Oh, and I get, <laughs> what? 18 and 18, and I give the door a slight kick. <laughs> As you do this, you can tell the shop feels bad for its silence. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you learned that shop. I hope you know it. Yeah. As admonishments go, you've you've thoroughly admonished this shop. Ah, it it it, well, it must feel bad. Well, we well we told it. That's for sure. Yeah, and if you're not yeah, open you tomorrow, did. we'll come back and do it again. Yeah, you better learn. You better learn your lesson from this. <laughs> we got there's there's more where that came from. Ah, I like very carefully hold that. I was like, does anyone else want to hold this? No, that's okay. <laughs> You're doing a good job. I back away. You're very careful with that. Ah. It seems very safe with you. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> They're not coming, I guess. I guess I'll start heading back. Mm -hmm. You head back to the car in the center of the village? Mm. Yes. Or are we going straight to the tavern? You can head back to the tavern if you like. I'll just wait out here. That's okay. You go yeah. off the Yeah. Do you, you know, you go, you go ahead. <laughs> We're good out here. I'll we just got, walk we got. In as if nothing, I know nothing. <laughs> also, don't have a scratch on me. <laughs> yeah, so you're fine. Uh, and uh, she, uh, as you walk in, um, the. Uh, the uh, small Jabin uh, sees you and says, Are you here for healing? Or are you here for leisure? Rest? <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes! I have rooms. Five gold piece a night. Times are hard. You're not kidding. Hmm. Honestly, I've given out most of my rooms to the, uh, to the sick and injured, so anyone who can pay is very much appreciated. I've got two sick and injured outside here. They're outside? <laughs> <laughs> they really need a room to rest. <laughs> uh, as you hear footsteps coming towards the door, do Red and Sunny stay put or do they dash? I feel like I feel like we do that thing where we scramble like past each other and bonk yeah. into each other yeah. and like and then turn oh, wow. opposite ways. Yeah. <laughs> it's a comedy routine. <laughs> Is there anyone outside when she opens the door? No. No. <laughs> Both get around uh, opposite corners. I don't see them. Oh, they got away again. God. <laughs> Uh, and she sort of calls into the night. Well, I'm the only place with beds in the village, so enjoy sleeping on your bed rolls, although it's not going to be good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Red will yell back, thank you, that's very considerate. And then slams his hand over his mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry, perhaps my prices are a little unfair. A little bit steep. I usually charge five silvers a room, but any offer, any any extra you can afford to give, I would very greatly appreciate. Well then, how about this? I'll I'll give you ten silver for being such kind and helping my fellows out. Uh, and uh, she she thanks you, and uh, 
we'll show you to a room. Uh, she provides you a pitcher of water and uh, pulls out the basin to show you where it is. If you need anything, I'll be downstairs tending to the sick. We like Wonderful. to keep I things... I appreciate it. And uh, she says quite sternly, Now, do remember, though, be considerate of your other neighbours, especially since they're sick, and try not to be too noisy. I try not to be. And uh, you hear her go into another room and loudly uh, tell off someone who has moved under her care. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny Red, where are you staying tonight? I'm a, I'm a ranger. I'm comfortable in a tree. <laughs> yeah, I'm a not a former bandit. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll find a I... place. As right. part of my not a bandit kit, I have some, <laughs> some very nice blankets. It says so. I'm I make I make like a nice little, and I'm so small that even a small amount of blankets is like a pretty nice nest for me. So I find I'm used if, to if, if, Yeah, there is. I was just gonna say if Red points out a good spot because like Red, you you got a better like view of oh, things. Yeah. On the eastern side of the village, there is an old dead tree uh, which provides plenty of places to rest and deep knolls that you can uh, make comfortable beds in. There you go. I think that old dead tree over there would be the perfect place to be. There ain't no better bed than dead tree. <laughs> no better bed than dead. Great. <laughs> Good motto. You have. It's red. I like it. <laughs> perfect. Perfect, perfect. I stuff my blankets into like a nook and then I just nest in there and cover up entirely. So <laughs> I pick a place that I can still keep a lookout as I lay down to rest just in case the helo comes along to save me again. Uh, what you see from your vantage point is uh, the uh, guardsman uh, with his uh, uh, Beetle line uh, finishes up, looks around for the other guardsman, um, and uh, shakes his head and uh, begins heading south towards Meadowfen at an alarming rate. Uh, they thunder away, these beetles, uh, pulling the car at tremendous speed. Um, and uh, looking at it, you could probably estimate that they he, he'll be there before the moon crests the horizon. Um, wow. We should have had one then. Yeah, he went so fast. We, gosh. You also will see Eliza head to her cart, take a note of the things that you took, uh, pull down the tarpaulin, and uh, head over to the inn for a restful night. Well, you know she didn't get hurt, so she's fine. <laughs> oh, uh, Red just remembered. <laughs> Red hops down out of the tree and runs over to her and says, I'm sorry, here's your, I forgot to give it to you. Here's your share from the bandits for your trouble and gives her a gold piece because we got five oh. gold. So everybody gets one gold. Oh, sweet. I forgot about it. <laughs> I, I swear I'm not a bandit. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it for myself. I just forgot. I thought, I thought, yeah, I thought we had made that decision that we were not going to be bandits. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I'm just forgetful. Okay. I believe you. You know. Yeah, no, that's good. I hope uh, I hope everyone is as uh, comfy in that inn as we are in this <laughs> wonderful dead tree. You know, <laughs> I know I am. And you know, you're all the richer for it. <laughs> they say uh, no better off than dead, and it seems to be true. Uh, however, you each of you can take a long rest. You feel mm. well rested. Uh, and in the morning, you hear um, a uh, loud noise from the official-looking building in the northeast, uh, very close to your tree, in fact, as uh, it would seem someone has gone missing. Uh, you hear, uh, what accent should we do here? Uh, maybe something a little bit different here. I can't believe it! She's done it this time! I have all the things! I can't, oh, oh, has anyone seen Kenna? 
No, of course she hasn't. She's a damned fool. If only I had adventurers around, Joe and Spare, to help me. And that's uh, where we'll wrap up this <laughs> week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> the heroes of Humblewood. <laughs> uh, I love it. Uh, so, thank you very much for being in our very first uh, Heroes of Humblewood game. Uh, let's go round uh, and talk about who we are, where we can find each other online, and all of the good, good stuff that we get up to. Let's start with Jess. Hey, Jess. Oh, hi. It's me. I'm Jess. This was so much fun. I'm so glad I got to play with y'all. Thanks, everyone, for playing. This is a very, very fun game. A very fun group. Um... I'm Jess. You can find me Echo underscore JG and all the places on Twitch and Twitter and all that stuff. Uh, I yell about games on Twitter and then I play them over on Twitch. Uh, we do a mix of video games and TTRPGs. I also write very small <laughs> little TTRPGs. So you can check out my stuff over on itch.io. Um, I'm going to be featuring at a local uh, Canadian con soon. So if you're in my area, come, come hang out, play games and do panels and all that cool, fun nerd stuff. Yay! <laughs> oh my god, I cannot wait to the day that I can join you in them Canadian cons. I know! You got you got to get over here to Canada. 2021. <laughs> as long as we make our goals, which are over there. Hopefully 2021. Uh, yeah. Next around, we have Zort1. Justin, how was that for you? Oh, it was great. I loved playing here. And I love playing with everybody. This was so much fun to do. Uh, you can follow me at Zort1 on Twitter. And uh, I also uh, play a little bit with uh, Impact RPG. Uh, we're kind of still kind of starting that thing up, but uh, so keep your eye out for that. Um, but yeah, I am always looking to play new games. Uh, uh, you know, streaming is kind of the uh, new thing for me. Uh, so I, I and I'm tr definitely trying to get more into it. So if you got a game, send them my way. I'll can work again uh but uh, but yeah so much fun thank you for letting me join thank you so much for joining us thank you next around the screen we have vert madness hey vert how you doing i'm doing great enjoy this right here so you'll find me online at vert madness like that right there with an ad in front of it on twitter otherwise you probably won't find me very much i'm just <laughs> new to all of this different social media stuff so yeah, you'll find me there, though, talking about retweeting a bunch of d d stuff and memes and stuff. It's hilarious, and I love it. <laughs> yes, uh, fantastic. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. At last, but most certainly not least, uh, our wonderful Southern Raptor, Blind Temple. <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. I'm Temple. You can find me at Blind Temple, at Blind Temple on Twitter. Uh, I had a great time today. This is a wonderful group. This was so much fun. <laughs> uh, if you need, uh, if you know of anybody that needs help with uh, accessibility for games and stuff, I'm the guy you contact on Twitter. Uh, if you are an independent game developer and want an accessibility pass done on your product, I do those for free for Blind. So uh, just feel free to contact me. My DMs are always open. Thank you. And thank you. What a, what a service. Thank you so much for that. As for this game, uh, Heroes of Humblewood is a viewer game. So uh, next week we'll be changing out Zort and Vert for two new guests. And if you would like to get on that waiting list, all you need to do is head over to Twitter and send me a DM. The link's coming up in chat. Show up our Discord, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, Twitter, like I say, we are we, I have a list which we are storming through of uh, new players. Um, also, uh, check out the Discord. It's a wonderful place where you can come and communicate and talk about all sorts of wonderful things. Uh, and head over to YouTube to catch up on this and all the other episodes uh, that are on the show. Uh, big thank you to our sponsors. First of all, uh, the Deck of Many, uh, who, uh, who sponsor this show using the Humblewood Sourcebook. You can see um, I've got it open here. Jess is using it over there. Um, it's a wonderful book full of amazing things. You can go and get it right now, available in hardback from their store. Uh, also, uh, check out Mage Hand Press. Uh, Mage Hand Press with the hardback version of Dark Matter, also now available and uh, currently being distributed by Diamond Comic Publishers, uh, which means that the book can be available at your local store. All you need to do is go and ask them to stock it. 
Uh, also, a huge thank you to Hero Forge. Hero Forge, who make the custom minis. You may have seen them in grayscale. You may, if you've been watching recently, have seen them in color with their very successful Kickstarter. And we may just ask Jess and Temple to have a go uh, uh, making some, uh, some, if they can make versions of their uh, of their creatures in in the hero forge it's very very versatile and i know there are some animal creatures i don't know if there's specifically birds and gerbean but we can find out <laughs> until next time everyone keep on evoking emotions we're going to put uh, a little bit of a longer break on this week uh, between shows because you know it's initial setup and hi i'm sweating um but uh we'll be back in just 45 minutes uh, with the last show of the week, New Acadia Nights, um, a Urban Shadows game by That Salty Ginger. So, hopefully we'll see you then. Until next time, keep on evoking emotions, everyone, and we'll see you later on. Bye. <laughs>